Crypto is crashing and especially the meme coins are crashing. Does it make sense to buy this dip? Does it make sense to buy Simon's Cat, one of the leading meme coins on the Binance Smart Chain? Let's have a look at some on-chain metrics. Let's have a look at the data most people aren't considering. Now what we see over here is the other's dominance. So this shows how much of all of crypto is in the altcoins that's not in the top 10. And we can see this continuously declining since beginning of the year. And here is to a degree the reverse of that chart. This is Bitcoin dominance. So Bitcoin becomes a more and more important factor of all of crypto. Now, why is this all happening? The answer is the Bitcoin ETF. Have a look at this chart. This is the daily in and outflows out of the Bitcoin ETFs. And initially, we have seen quite a lot of outflows from the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Now, this has changed. Recently, we don't see those outflows anymore. Thus, all the inflows we see into those new instruments are 100% net positive. This is what's currently supporting the Bitcoin price. It's purchases by Wall Street. It's purchases through the ETF. And so let's get back to Simon's Cat, which is not doing that well recently. It's down 26% this week alone. And yes, this year we almost doubled, but under quite a bit of pain. We rallied and crashed. We rallied yet again. We crashed yet again. Is this a potential buy the dip opportunity? Let's try to find this out by looking directly on chain on the Binance Smart Chain where Simon's Cat is mainly traded. Who is currently buying? Is the number of holders increasing for small retail or for the whales? Now here is how important the token actually is. Among the trending tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, and the Binance Smart Chain is the third largest of the chains, it's the second largest token with a liquidity of almost 15 million. And so the long-term chart looks pretty promising, right? It looks like there is upside potential of 72% roughly. And the comparisons in terms of market cap are also promising. It's got a market cap of 174 million and it could potentially double, right? There's still a lot of other meme coins that are double the size. Baby Dogecoin is on the Binance Smart Chain as well. Book of Meme, Gozios Maximus, Turbo, etc. So according to BSC scan, we've almost a quarter of a million holders on chain. Now, not all of those holders purchased the token, right? There was an airdrop. And so then the question is, who's actually holding substantial amounts of the token? Here's a statistic I like to look at pretty much with any video on this channel. And that's the number of small investors versus large investors. On the left side, we see the number of wallets that have at least 40 million CAT tokens. At the current price, that's worth roughly $1,000. For the chart in the middle, we go at 10x, so that's roughly $10,000 worth of the token. For the chart on the right, it's roughly $100,000 worth of the token. Again, minimum holding. So among the 243,000 holders, less than 1% has more than $1,000 in it. And so we can see this is not necessarily growing over time. We can also see how this is not necessarily fluctuating that much over time. How do we see crashes like this of 50% regularly when the number of holders isn't really fluctuating that much? I've got an explanation, but before we talk about this, I want to share my YouTube analytics on prior Simon's Cat videos. So there was a video published 66 days ago and it outperformed the average video quite a bit. Then there was another video published 13 days ago that tends to perform pretty much with the average so maybe there is some kind of decline in attention now attention is correlated with price right it makes sense to buy a token when nobody is looking it makes sense to sell a token when everybody is looking but here's i think what's causing all of that volatility and that's influenced by the centralized exchanges. Have a look at the perpetual futures market. That's dominated by Binance, but OKX and Bybit are also part of the party. If we don't see the holder graphs fluctuating that much, what we see over here is simply just the last month, then those massive price crashes can only be explained by the mega whales selling, right? By potentially the centralized exchanges. And so I'm personally not buying Simon's Cat. I prefer tokens that have organic long-term growth on chain as well. In the premium membership of this channel, we are tracking more than 400 wallets. And I have not seen a single wallet, a single influencer or a single top trader trading CAT. I've only seen James Wynn receiving some CAT, but those were CAT tokens on Ethereum. It was not the BNB token. So for example, we've got 12 of Alex Becker's wallet and he's got 1.4 million subscribers on YouTube. Or we are tracking 33 of Crypto Benta's wallets. And they've got 
1 million subscribers on YouTube. When we see those kinds of wallets buying something, it might make sense to buy as well, right? Very often influencers buy a token to then afterwards talk about it on YouTube. And when then all the YouTube viewers buy the token afterwards, the price tends to really rally. However, when we've got a token that's mainly manipulated by the centralized exchanges, that's not traded by any influencers, and that doesn't really see any accumulation on chain either, then even though the chart might look interesting, the only driver for an appreciation would be yet again manipulation. And so the more people buy this dip, the more the price could potentially crash, right? This is what the centralized exchanges want to do. They want to make money as well. And so they position themselves exactly opposite of what most other people are doing. And so I rather keep buying the tokens that those large players, those large influencers and top traders are buying. There are also dedicated tutorial videos in premium on how to find those wallets and how to track them. So there's an entire course in premium, eight videos in total on how to find different influencer wallets, on how to track them and on how to then afterwards interpret the signals that we get from the tracking. There's more than 100 tutorial videos in total, not just about wallet tracking, but also about portfolio management, risk management, bet sizing, etc. Feel free to check it out. Of course, there are also dedicated chat groups for the individual altcoins. Feel free to check it out. There's also a one week money back guarantee so in case you don't like what you see just message me within the first week and i refund you 100 percent so i personally stay away from simon's cat i think especially in an environment where bitcoin's dominance is rising we have to be very very picky with what altcoins to buy it's a 100 percent player versus player game if it's your first time here feel free to subscribe i publish videos regularly a like would be very much appreciated as well it helps the channel grow see you in the next video or see you in premium cheers